There once was a man named Zacchaeus. He lived in a town called Jericho. Zacchaeus was not a very popular man. He was short, really short. Jimmy, what are you, what are you doing? I'm short. No, you're not. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> this isn't why people didn't like him. The reason he was hated was because he was a tax collector. It was his job to go from house to house and collect taxes for the government. That wasn't even really the worst part about him. The worst thing about him was that he didn't just take the money he was supposed to take for the government. He took more and kept it for himself. Come on, man. What? Yeah. what? He would bang on the door of every home in the street and demand they hand over their hard-earned money all to make himself rich. It wasn't fair, and it made the people in the town very mad. One day, Jesus was coming into town. Jesus? I love that guy. People gathered from everywhere to see Jesus. They heard that he was a great man. He could heal sickness and disease. Zacchaeus desperately wanted to see Jesus. He went to the town and saw the crowd was pushing to the side of the road. The crowd was huge and Zacchaeus couldn't make his way through, but he had a great idea. Remember we said Zacchaeus was very short. He couldn't see over the crowd. So I can't see! Jimmy, what are you doing? Get, get off me! We gotta finish the story! All right! So his thought was he would climb a tree and peer out through the branches to see over the crowd. He waited for Jesus to come past. Jesus came down the road and the crowds cheered and waved. When Jesus was coming by where Zacchaeus was hidden in the tree, he stopped. He turned around to the tree and came towards it. Jesus looked up at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. Today, I'm coming to your house. I will be your guest. Zacchaeus could not believe it. Jesus knew his name and wanted to eat with him. Everyone else was pretty mad and very jealous. Why would Jesus want to spend time with this horrible man named Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus' life was changed by Jesus that day. Zacchaeus had been living his own way. That day, Zacchaeus chose to live God's way. Jesus forgave Zacchaeus for all the wrong things that he had done. Zacchaeus' life was changed so much that he gave back his money to the poor. And he would even pay back four times as much. Jesus promises us forgiveness. We are forgiven through Jesus Christ. You know what, man? I don't even need this. You can take it back. I appreciate it, man. No, in fact, here's some more, man. Sweet! Yeah. Imagine you had gone to Toys R Us to buy a new toy. Ooh, ooh, Matt. There's this truck at Toys R Us. It's like blue. It has a trailer and a car in the back. And it is so awesome. I want it. I, I just, I want it. Bad. Real bad. You choose the right toy and take it to the clerk at the cash register. Um, that's nice. Yeah. Um, pretty awesome. So the cash register says, that'll be $10. You hand over the money, and you paid the price, and the toy is yours. Oh! What if Toys R Us kept making you pay for that same toy over and over and over again? Oh, 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 oh. Woo! It's like forgiveness. Jesus paid the price for us to be forgiven. If we keep feeling bad and feeling guilty when we've been forgiven, it's like we're trying to pay the price that Jesus has already paid again and again. I love trucks! <laughs> Living free. We are forgiven through Jesus Christ. God promises us forgiveness. 1 John 1, 9. But God is faithful and fair. If we admit that we have sinned, He will forgive us our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Some people think they have done too many bad things for God to forgive them, but that's not true. He will forgive every wrong thing we have ever done. God's forgiveness doesn't run out or have a limit. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes, do wrong things, and live selfishly. God sent His one and only Son, Jesus, to deal with the problem of sin. Everyone who has ever lived and anyone who will ever live has what is called sin. Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for all the wrong things that we've done. 
he took the punishment so that we could be forgiven. We can live free of guilt, shame, and regret because we have forgiveness. Living free, we are forgiven through Jesus Christ.